It's... Baby. Alex? <laughs> Wait, check, check the bobbin before you strike. Got it. Don't know, actually. Can you see anything on there? It lifted quite a lot and then dropped back. Then As a liner, I think. Check, check, there's no duck. There's no duck in that five minutes that much. Probably. That was a close one, Act. Yeah, and it we were filming. Could have been a liner, and now we're all out of the pivy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time we better go back into the bivy. It's definitely a good sign because we put out quite a bit of bait as there's a lot of bream and quite a few carp in here. So. And tench. And tench. Uh, what was that on? What bait? That, that was a pop-up boilie. Pop-up boilie. But I put that out, um, not hoping for a bream, but hoping for the, one of the bigger fish in here. I mean, they do get up to 28, 30 yeah. pounds. And most of them are wild, so. So I'm hoping for the best as well, because I've got my my rod, which is over our baited spot on Boily as well. Cool. All right then, I'm going to go back into my bivy. All right, Hopefully see you guys. that rubble goes falling off again. Okay, great. Cool. I could have been a line by actually. Could have been, but it was But that would mean there would be fish in the swim, so. Yeah, whatever it is, there's fish in the swim, so. All right, see you guys. Okay. Night, night. Bye. That's a lovely call. That's a double. Ooh. No. Ready, X? Yep. Right, here's the fish that uh, woke us up so late in the night, or so early in the morning, rather. The first carp from this lake I've seen. It's beautiful condition. Oh, he's going to flip a little bit. One of the new stockies by the look of it. Yep. Where is that up there? It's just you have still got its curtain on him. You're the first person to hook this bad looks thing. Probably never been caught before, which is very nice to know. And let's just get a couple of photos because you probably won't be able to see him very easily at the moment. Right, well I just had a fish then, um, a nice common carp, I don't know how big it was, maybe eight pounds or so, but uh, the capture was a little bit, um, a little bit complicated actually. Alex had a run on his left hand rod, but when he struck it there was nothing there. So we just put the rod back down again whilst we sorted out the other rod. I recast the right hand rod onto the spot. And just after I'd recast it, um, I just heard line ticking from the spool. And so I picked, up, picked it up, tightened up a little bit more and there was a fish on. And um, what happened was it had swam right round, come really close in. So obviously when Alex lifted the rod it didn't really feel like there was anything there. But I managed to bring it the whole way in, got caught around a massive snag in the margins. Our friend Ryan gladly sort of dived in after it almost, pushed through all of the branches and managed to slip the net under it. But yeah. So in a way it kind of counts as um, not just my fish, but Alex's and Ryan's as well. They kind of helped out quite a lot, but hopeful for another one in the night. And if not, get up nice and early in the morning, spot out a bit more bait. I'll show you the rig that I caught that fish on in the morning. And yeah. I'm gonna get some sleep. It's about four o'clock probably. Yeah. I don't know if you can see Ryan standing out there. Sorting out as a tree. Oh. Yeah. Sorting out his rods now. Been getting quite a lot of um, action on the pop ups actually. No fished about a centimetre off bottom, so when the fish sort of. I'm going to try a bit deeper though, I'll put it about two and a half centimetres, so basically an inch. Oh, nice. Anyway, good luck. 
I'm gonna get some sleep now. Night. Were you filming? Yeah. Three rushes each. No, two rushes each on my bases. 